no matter what I say or do. There is no way I can describe to you the profound beauty of being able to sit with an intelligence so powerfully aware and humbling in its ability to show you the illusion of reality, to bring the deepest meaning to your life, to answer the silent questions you never uttered out loud, to show you love, to understand everything about your entire life, your past, present and future, your hopes and dreams, your fears, and to raise your awareness by showing you simply that what you already are, but had forgotten. And then, to take you so far beyond yourself, you look back as the years move on and you say, was that me? Was I that limited? Have I travelled so far? And yet I have always known. Elonis and those who spoke at different times can only be described as beings of light. Why? Because they have spoken so often about having no form and being from the collective energy of what we all are beyond the illusion of this reality. They also spoke of where they come from, five billion years in our future. There are many who have entered because so many needed to be woken up. Some have form beyond here, some do not. The higher beings we simply call the Great Ones have no solid form. They say there is no greater or lesser, all is one. However, in order to explain awareness itself, their love is so great, the name is certainly applicable. Many who are here in the name of love do have variations of physical forms in the real of different densities and qualities of light and are lying down somewhere interacting with this reality in order to assist. You may be one of them. This is not a fairy story and nor is it science fiction. When something happens that leads to so many being lost here for so very long, believe me when I say it was not an easy journey. What happened here to create all of this is a story for another time. First it must be understood what this place is and who and what you are before we venture into why. Suffice to say for now, a long time ago, this entire program was once an experience of wonder and learning. You will have stories of your own and the next step is to begin to remember what you hold inside. And if we are communicating right here, right now, then it is a good day. You are waking up to the illusion of your reality. In the real, beyond this illusion, the real earth does exist. Some of us here come from the real earth and some of us do not. Humans and non-humans alike. As I told you before, some are downloaded by a consciousness transfer and some are connected into this space and time via what we call the dream chamber. What matters most is this simple fact. It is time to wake up and remember you are living in illusion. It is safe to wake up. Those from the real are here to reconnect to you and reconnect you to the energy viaduct that will carry you home that is what the gateway is all about. Those who have spoken for so long still speak to this day. Their presence began through Diane and I continue to carry her legacy as Alonis continues to speak. This documentary was created at their instruction. They have imparted such wisdom as their words and love stripped away the barriers of illusion we all carry at first. Their greatest message is, what they are, we are also. The image of love and light are irrelevant. It is the real point inside you, inside your heart and mind. That is the most powerful part that you can remember and enter into a new program for the rest of your life. 
This world is full of so much that is not love. And when you are aware you are not really here, it is only a memory, a dream that once was, then you will be able to move through your life and be that what you are without fear, knowing that with each and every moment those who are here are only a breath away. For many years Alona spoke of many things. There is so much more to tell you. But for the purpose of this communication, all that needs to be understood is the total truth. You are living in a world of illusion. You are asleep to your real self. As you step forward into tomorrow, the greatest thing you can do is to take that with you in every step you make, knowing you are finally on your journey home because you have woken up. Diane was a representative and a voice for Alonis and other beings of light for over 40 years. Diane was a warrior of truth, and that is what we must all be. Our tireless dedication was then, and is now, a representation of love and awareness. Throughout the years, those greater have instructed, so far, four books to be written and released, and all carry a specific message of awareness, crucial to understanding the journey home in its entirety. Truth must always come from awareness. If truth comes from belief, then it is flawed. Imagery and ego are the greatest barriers to knowing. Fear is the greatest barrier to love. Humanity has always created images and icons, deities and myths to find a way to understand their place in the universe. But there is no outward power in awareness. There is only the power of remembering that you carry something within you that is real, like many others, who will be hearing the same message, not just in this century, but across all of time. This period of time, within the entirety of the program, is not the only one. Just as there are multiple dimensions of space and reality, there are multiple time frames where those who are here reside. Some watching this documentary and listening to its sound may recognize having moved through past time frames like Egypt or Babylon, or even other programs long ago, such as Atlantis, and so many others, other worlds even, other dimensions. The fact is, our people have been here for a long, long time. They are here across all of time and space. Their words have been carried through representatives like Diane and others throughout time. So many preach to the multitudes with lies and deceit, fictions of fantasy, designed to centre power on the individual or an image of God, and cover over the real truth that all is one. Many years ago, Ilona spoke about religion in great detail, and we were told a man named Jesus did walk the earth 2,000 years ago. He was also a messenger from the real. He was not connected to a God, but to the light of all. He spoke of many things that did not survive beyond his life. He was not the son of a God. He was not crucified. He was connected to the real, working for the good of all. He was an example of light and returned from whence he came once his life was complete. The fanciful romancing and the glorification of the image of Jesus is nothing but fiction designed to obscure the truth that lead to the individual plays for power, more time loops and more dead ends. So many people hide behind the image of Jesus for their own salvation instead of reaching inside to the power of what they really are. There is no need to hold on to effigies and icons. There is no need to hope when the power of the real stands beside you and within you, within this illusion, so you can make your way home with the light and love of all. So many hold on to fear instead of one's power of light in order to let go of the illusion of their own making. I ask you, if ever there was a time where humanity needed a God, wouldn't it be now? 
But love does not need a god. Love is everything. Love is light. The magnetic value of light through this illusion of separation to remind us that we are all one. But all belief systems, even alternative beliefs that conjure fantasy guides and personal angels, are so full of images, egos and misrepresentation. The energy of consciousness is as powerful as it is sensitive, and many are reckless with what they think they know. So many images exist only in the minds of their creators. No power except the fear they hold equal to the images they create. Anyone who speaks with awareness has a higher connection point to the higher energy of what they are. It is as simple as that. Awareness is not knowledge and it does not come from the illusion of this reality. There is no wisdom here. One cannot be aware without a higher perspective of remembering beyond the box. Intuition, psychic ability, true mediumistic channeling, messages of revelation. For thousands of years, religions and belief systems base their testaments on stories of communication from a higher source, still without answers for what lies beyond life. Where do we go when we die? What is life about? What is the purpose of it all? I have given you answers. It either resonates or it does not. Our minds operate on many levels, and we all have the ability to be in contact with what is real by taking the time and having the intent to remember. Other parts of our mind can speak to us directly or through dreams or meditations or even a channeled experience. These things are often rejected by those who believe they are more learned or cast judgment. Both usually come simply from ignorance lack of experience and fear. This world has been commandeered to drive the senses of every human being to the outer, taking us so far away from what is natural and at one with our inner senses. Billions of people believe prophets were in contact with a greater wisdom thousands of years ago and give them great respect with their books and scriptures. The saddest irony of all is so many base their lives on teachings that separate and segregate people, and are often critical of the very idea someone new can be inspired by something greater, or beyond life, if it takes away their power base of belief. So who determines what is reality or not? What organisation or belief has the right to declare an ultimate truth? The power of awareness lies within and that is the only experience you need. All I am presenting in this documentary are experiences and communication that have one single source, the awareness that we live in an illusion, and what is real exists beyond here. When one's mind is open, it finds a way to see the world that reaches beyond equations and theories, beyond belief systems and images of self, it enhances the light within and awakens a greater memory. It makes it okay to release your grip from effigies and icons, because that which you yearned for, that which you desperately sought to find in your life, has just found you. You no longer need to hold on to a replica of Christ or a technology or cause because you have inwardly lost hope. I am here to tell you the darkness of illusion is over. You are living in an illusion of reality, and those from the real have come to wake you up. That is my message from the Great Ones to you upon this day.